Uh, but I do know what it was like uh, to grow up in a very small town as a gay teen, thinking that I'm the only one out there. And that's one of the reasons why I created on um, from to tell LGBT youth that you're not alone, no matter who you are, no matter what you're going through, and no matter where you are. In the fall, uh, I, I did go on a, a four-month, 50-state story tour to, to all every single state, and um, I I went. Uh, um, I met on the way. I met all sorts of people and 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 plenty of characters. Let me tell you. And um, I am very happy to tell you that we have so many reasons to be proud of our community. In Alamo Gordo, New Mexico, which is a very small conservative military town, their P flag uh, members didn't have a place to meet. They they didn't have a nice fancy LGBT center. Um, so what they did, they found a gay-owned thrift store and they met there. And every single time they had a meeting, all the furniture was different because the furniture was sold from the last meeting. But it didn't matter, they didn't care about the space, they didn't care about the furniture. All they cared about was that their community had a place to meet and get together and support each other. In Grand Forks, North Dakota, I met a young man who organized a rally to help pass a bill that was going through. And it was an employment non-discrimination uh, bill. He organized a rally and he was the only person who showed up. The bill failed. Uh, he wrote a, a letter to the newspaper expressing his disappointment and he urged it to be published. It was. And soon after, uh, that, that outed him to the entire community. It outed him to his employers. And soon after, he was fired for being gay. I asked him, why not come to New York and all of you would go to his rallies. He's very cute, you'd want to meet him. But all, all of us would should go up to those rallies and these protests and he looked at me like I was crazy, like that was a terrible idea. And then he said, but if I left, then no one would be at that rally. And I'm proud that even in Grand Force, North Dakota, that I, even if it's an army of one, that we're out there fighting the good fight. And then in Wasilla, Alaska, they're so easy. Uh, in Wasilla, Alaska, um, I met a gay teenager who went to high school and he was greeted, he it was found out that he was gay and everyone knew. He was greeted by a lot of students holding hands surrounding a flagpole and prayed for his soul as he walked by. They prayed that one day he would be cured and get better. But he has a mother and a father at home who think that he can't get any better because he's perfect just the way he is. And even, and I'm proud of our community because I know that even in Wasilla, Alaska, the parents love and accept their LGBT children just the way they are. As you could probably say, as, as a real mama grizzly would actually do. <clears throat> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, those are all reasons to be proud of our community. Um, but I'm also proud just because I am gay. And I can call all of you my brothers and sisters and part of my community. And that's, that's something just to be proud of, that I don't even know most of you, but I know that you have my back and that I have your back and that we are a community. But it's not just important to be proud of who you are, it's important to be public about your pride. Because I know there is someone in Driftwood, Texas, or Woodmere, New York, or Wasilla, Alaska, that is gonna see all of us celebrating for the next week who we are and our pride and whether you're gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender or maybe you don't want to be defined by any word you just are who you are and you're proud of that and i know there are challenges that our community faces i saw them on the on the tour i lived them you all live them you all know them and we all know the hurdles and the roadblocks and the speed bumps along the way but i am telling you from my experience on the road what I saw out there was a lot more than all the hurdles. It was a whole heck of a lot of hope. And it's up to you and all of us to keep that hope alive for everyone I met on the tour. So thank you and happy pride. Keep the hope alive for North Dakota and Alaska and Texas and all the states and people that I met. Thank you and happy pride. Let's hear for Nathan, everybody. So I was just out there meeting so many of you and hugging.
laughing and taking pictures, and you are a wet, sweaty bunch. You are. But it's pride, and it's all about love, and I don't care. So I'll be out there more. And okay, here's the truth. I brought um, three Chelsea Lately shirts, because that's what I had. So um, I'll be out and about, and if you want one, if I have any left, I'll just give it to you. Sound good? Actually, I'm going to give my, my partner, Salvador, he packed them, because he goes, he goes, you should give those away. And I said, you think of everything. That's why it's good to have a partner. Um, you guys having fun still? Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I do, it's so nice to see New York come out like this to kick off Pride, but this is just the beginning, okay? Today, Summer Stage, next week you all are taking over Fifth Avenue. We need New York's queerest and their friends and families and loved ones to show up next Sunday, June 26th, to march down the center of Manhattan in the 2011 Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Pride March. The march is the same as last year. It still kicks off promptly at noon, everybody. I know you're late, people, but be on time. And it starts at 36th Street and 5th Avenue, ends at Christopher Street uh, and Greenwich Streets. Please join us next weekend for the world's 